Welcome to the GSMC Golf Podcast presented by the GSMC Sports Network. I'm your host today, Garrison McDaniel, and we have a great show for you guys today where we will be breaking down all the action at the RBC Canadian Open. So we saw a pretty special event as the RBC Canadian Open has really proved to be one of the most special events on tour. Uh, we're going to be breaking down the winner, Robert McIntyre, talking about the leaderboard in our second segment. and our third segment, we'll be talking about Justin Thomas and his season uh, in review or up to date. Uh, as we did this with Jordan Spieth a month ago, I think I'm going to do this with the golfers uh, that are the biggest names in golf, talk about where, where their seasons are at, talk about the woes or the highs that they've been facing, and then our fourth segment will be my updated top 10 golfers in the world. It's been about a month since I've done it last. We're going to do it again, um, as I probably will make that about a monthly um uh, tradition here on the GSMC Golf Podcast, and then our fifth and final se- segment will be talking about the importance of the Memorial Tournament. As I am a kid from Columbus, Ohio, so I think that I am more than capable of speaking on the importance of a golf tournament that really is so important in my hometown. Um, but as we get into this, before we start with all of that. If you would like to support the channel, support the GSMC Sports Network at all, use the gsmcpodcast.net link for tips and donations. It really does help all of us out. You guys could also ask me a question. If you would like, it'll show up on the screen, and I'll read it out loud live on air for you guys. Um, but without further ado, we're going to get right into our first segment, talking about Robert McIntyre. And as we always do, we show the scorecards from the week. Uh, this is his first round, absolutely brilliant first round here he shoots a 64 he finishes uh, i think he was tied fifth or he was fifth solo fifth as there were four guys that shot 63 and 62 he was the only one that was really able to keep this uh momentum and keep this kind of um uh keep this uh golf up for the entire time of this tournament <clears throat> robert mcintyre really played amazing this tournament with a opening round 64 he didn't shoot in the 70s once this tournament always under par a bogey free card here this is a pretty weird card uh, as you're going to see Robert McIntyre having pretty weird cards there are a lot of harder holes on the back nine as we talked about on Thursday uh, but it didn't matter for Robert Uh, he he played so well on the back nine this entire weekend and started here in technically his front nine but it does it is the back nine it's 10 through 18 of this golf course um so his second day on Friday, he has another bogey-free card. It's four under here, a 66, very impressive round as well. Two birdies on each side of the card, bogey-free card. You always love to see that when you're a player on tour. And then th- he gets his first bogey right out the gate here on Saturday on moving day. Very, uh, very weird card from him <laughs> on moving day. It is he ends up one over on the front nine. We talk about how much more difficult the front nine is than the back nine of this tournament. He well, the back nine he goes five under. He goes birdie bogey birdie 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 eagle on seventeen and then pars eighteen. He played amazing on the back nine this weekend, um, and Saturday is a great example of that. He finishes this day in the lead, and then in round four, bogey is the opening hole again. He hated hole one on this turn in this uh, tournament, but. Um, you know, unable to separate himself from the pack, uh, he definitely could have, um, but played it safe down the stretch, 17 and 18. 17 and 18, he had great uh, looks at par for both of those. Uh, he had to stick it close to the green on both of those approach shots, and he did so very well. So, um, Robert McIntyre is your RBC Canadian Open champion. He played amazing all weekend, and you saw it on those cards. Uh, he is... Uh, proven to be one of the best golfers and uh, once again this is the uh the whole sheet from this tournament you see this back nine and how much more difficult it's playing than the front nine it's playing about a shot over the front nine in difficulty so um impressive what he was able to do on that back nine the entire weekend especially on saturday getting that five under on it after a pretty disappointing front nine for him um but this is robert mcintyre's first win on tour second uh, week in a row that we've gotten a first winner as last week it was Davis Riley gained his first week on tour at the Charles Schwab Challenge and now it is Robert McIntyre gain his first win on tour we talked about how the uh, short fields would uh, uh, change kind of how the tournament plays out and this is an example of it doing so I mean if he had to contend with Scotty Scheffler, Victor Hovland, Jordan Spieth, Justin Thomas, all these guys, big names, maybe 
uh, it looks a little bit different for him, but he doesn't have to. So uh, Robert McIntyre, 16 under, is the winner here. Uh, he played very well. The entire week played very well. 64 opening round, 66, 66, 68, and he is your winner. Um, very impressive from him. He had his dad on his bag, uh, and it was a great moment. Um, Jim Nance was, of course, the one calling on Sunday, and when Robert McIntyre made his putt to win, uh, he uh, Jim Nance said... Um, so... He wrote a book about his dad uh, when his dad passed away about 16 years ago, and he said this on the post broadcast. Now the name of the book is escaping me, but he used that line for. Now I gotta look it up because it was a great moment. Um, he used that line for uh, when Robert McIntyre won. It's always by my side. That's the name of the book, uh, and that was the call that he. That was the line that he used when they won that one. Very. Uh, Jim Nance is a legend, the best, uh, you know, broadcaster, of course, in golf, but I say in all sports, I love Jim Nance any time he's calling a game, whether it's March Madness basketball or it's the Masters tournament. Uh, it's always such a special event, and it, he makes it even more special. So, um, you know, of course, big fan of Jim Nance, every, everybody in the world of sports is. So it was great to see him make that call because I think that that was so great. You know, he wrote a book about his dad when his dad passed away. Uh, he used that line, the name of the book, as the line to call the winner um, when Robert McIntyre had his dad on the bag caddying for him for this weekend. Um, and Robert McIntyre, uh, giving a little bit of backstory to him, uh, grew, grew up in, Scot in Scotland. His dad is a greenskeeper at the local course there, um, so grew up playing golf around that course. Uh, very, <clears throat> very good golfer, of course, PGA pro, but... I, he he was never like he was always like in that Joel Damon kind of uh, tier of golf uh, like where you're I mean he needed to work hard to get to the, be this good where I mean there is just nash, natural athletes in golf that just I mean it comes a little bit easier to the them for Robert McIntyre uh, it's not the same with him so very great to see him get this win it meant a lot uh, for Robert McIntyre it's been a pretty difficult season on tour for him uh before this win he was cut at the charles schwab he got a tied eighth at the pga championship that was very impressive and he was in the mix going into that sunday but shot at a 70 on the sunday uh myrtle beach classic tied for 13th the cj cup byron nelson he was cut the zurich classic he was tied for eighth uh, he was cut at the houston open he was tied 33rd at the valspar championship um, cut at the players, tied for 32 at the Puerto Rico Open, uh, tied for 60 at the uh, uh, Cog 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 Cognizant Classic. There it is. Uh, tied for 60 there. Tied for six at the Mexican Open or Mexico Open. Cut at the we uh, Waste Management. Cut at the Farmers Insurance. Cut at the Amex, and tied for 52 at the Sunny Open in Hawaii. So he plays in a lot of tournaments, but uh, hasn't had too too amazing of a year to date. Um, so getting a win uh, could create a lot of momentum for this 27-year-old uh, uh, Scottish golfer, Rob Bobby McIntyre, as he's known on tour. Playing very good. I mean, it, I showed you the scorecard. Played near flawless on the first two days. So impressive from Robert McIntyre. Uh, this weekend, it was really uh, his approach shots that really stood out for me. Uh, he was fantastic on approach the entire weekend. Uh, we talked about him on 17 and 18, but even before that, he had a few holes that he was able to stick it right right near the pin, uh, be able to put himself, of course, getting that eagle on 17 on Saturday. That was a fantastic approach shot, and then a great putt for him as well. So Robert McIntyre, very impressive um, on at the... <sighs> At the Hamilton, at the Hamilton Country Club. There it is. I finally got it out. Um, off the tee, uh, this season he's been 54th. Uh, all of his numbers have been pretty mediocre when you look at it. But I just gave you his um, results on the year, and I mean it makes sense. Uh, having a pretty mediocre year on tour, besides this win here, uh, 54th and off the tee sh strokes gain, sh strokes gain total 40, 41st, strokes gain putting 45th, strokes gained around the green. Uh, 69th strokes screen, strokes gained on approach of the green 97th that's the only uh that's the only one where he's in the red for uh and 97th minus 0.022 strokes gained so 
he's been fantastic in a lot of areas uh, of his game uh, this year, and he was able to get the approach shots to work uh, for him uh, going into this tournament, and that's what's and that's why he got the win. That's what I, I say uh, is the area that really stood out for him. Very impressive. What Robert McIntyre was able to do, it's always hard to win your first uh, win on tour. Davis Riley could attest to that probably from winning last week for the first time. It's not an easy feat, and he was able to do it in a, in a pretty impressive fashion. Um, uh, it, it, it was closer than it needed to be, honestly. Uh, he let uh, second place kind of hang around. We're going to be talking about more on the leaderboard uh, in our next segment. So uh, we'll be talking about second place and onward and how they shaped up. Uh, but for Robert McIntyre, he wasn't able to, you know, pull himself away as we see this round four scorecard. When you look at it, uh, he was, I think he was three strokes ahead going into the turn, I want to say. He was pretty far ahead going into the turn. And then two bogeys on 12 and 13, and it got a little bit scary. But uh, gets the gets the stroke back on 15. Without that birdie on 15, he's into a playoff Um and he was able to close it out on 17 and 18, getting pars on both of those holes. Pretty difficult shots into the green to get pars as well. So impressive stuff from Robert McIntyre, what he was able to do in this tournament. Um, he's going to be very happy with how he played. Uh, but that'll wrap it up for our first segment, talking about Robert McIntyre's Week in Review. When I come back, we'll be talking about the rest of the leaderboard at Hamilton Golf Club and Country Club and talking more on the RBC Canadian Open besides uh, just Robert McIntyre. 